formatting a PowerPoint presentation. Applying themes. PowerPoint 2016 offers many built-in themes for the user to choose from. We use themes to make the presentation appear more creative and professional. Follow these steps to add a theme in PowerPoint 2016. Write any title for the first slide. Step 1. Click on the Design tab. Step 2. Click on the arrows to scroll for more theme options. Step 3. Select a theme to apply to the presentation. Modifying themes. We can choose different color options for the theme that we have applied. This option is adjacent, on the right side, to themes option in the variance group. You can move the mouse pointer over the different colors to see the preview in the original slide. We can click on the arrows to open the drop-down menu and explore other modifying options for theme. Changing the background Follow these steps to change the background color of the slides. Step 1. Click on the Design tab. Step 2. Select the Format Background option from the Customize group. A format background pane will appear on the right side of the window. Select any of the fill effects that you want. Inserting Smart Art PowerPoint has a feature called Smart Art. Smart Art is a visual representation of data in a different format such as cycle, process, lists, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, pyramid, and picture. Follow these steps to add smart art in a slide. Step 1. Click on the Insert tab. Step 2. Select Smart Art in Illustrations group. Choose a Smart Art graphic dialog box will appear. Step 3. Choose a category from the left section and a design from the middle section. A preview of the layout will appear on the right section. Step 4. Click on the OK button. The smart art will be inserted to the current slide. Step 5. Click on Text inside the shape to enter the text. Animations. Animations are special visual effects that can be added to text or other elements on a slide. It helps to beautify the presentation. We can use animations to highlight important or special features of our presentation. We can set the time and sequence for each animation that we add to our presentation. Follow these steps to add animation to the presentation. Step 1. Click on the text object that you want to animate. Step 2. Click on Animations tab. Step 3. Select any animation that you want. Click on the scroll menu to explore more options for animations. When we add an animation, a number appears in front of the text object to which the animation is applied. In the drop down menu of animations, you will see the following options. Entrance, changes beautifies the entry of a text or an object. Emphasis, highlights the selected point object from the slide. Exit, can changes beautifies the exit of a text or an object. Motion paths, this animation is similar to emphasis, but it can define the path pattern in which the selected text or object will move on the screen. Follow these steps to view the animation that you applied. Step 1. Click on the Animations tab. Step 2. Select Preview tool in the Preview group. Timing. Follow these steps to add or modify the timing of the animation effects. Step 1. Click on the Animations tab. Step 2. Click on the Start drop-down list in the Timing group and select any one of the given options. On click, the animation begins with the click of a mouse. With Previous, the animation begins at the same time as specified in the previous animation. After Previous, 
the animation begins after the previous animation ends. Step 3. Enter the number of seconds for the animation in the duration box. Step 4. Click on move earlier or move later to change the order of the animation. Animation pane. Follow these steps to open the animation pane. Step 1. Click on the animation tab. Step 2. Click on animation pane in the advanced animation group. It will appear on the right side of the window. The animation pane displays the number of objects text to which we have applied the animation. We can change the order, timing, and duration of the animation by clicking on the down arrow of each animation. Removing an animation We can remove an animation by clicking on the number in front of the object text which is animated. The number box will appear highlighted. We can then press the delete key. An animation can also be removed from the animation pane. Click on an effect and press the delete key. Slide transitions. We use slide transitions to make the next slide appear seamlessly without any gap. It makes the presentation much better because the slides appear in a smoother manner. The display of one slide after the other is known as transition. Follow these steps to add a transition. Step 1. Select the slide from the slide navigation pane to apply the transition. Step 2. Click on transition tab. Step 3. Click on the arrow button in the transition to this slide group. A drop-down gallery will appear with various transition effects. PowerPoint has three categories, subtle, exciting, and dynamic content. Timing Follow these steps to add modify the timing of a slide transition. Step 1. Click on the Transition tab. Step 2. Click on the Sound drop-down menu in the Timing group. Step 3. Select the sounds you want to add to your transition. Enter the number of seconds for the transition in the duration box. Step 4. Click on Apply to all option if you want the same transition effect for all the slides. Step 5. You can choose the transition of the next slide from the Advanced Slide option. On mouse click, the next slide begins with the click of a mouse. After, we can set the time for the next slide automatically.